Wake up. It's time to kickstart your day with Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Daily Dose of Inspiration. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Monday, May 6th, 2019. And as you wake up and you start this brand new day, Thank God for this day and commit this day to Him. Use this day to bring glory and honor to our Lord. And use this day to share your faith with someone and encourage somebody. And while you're at it today, give God praise because He is worthy of our praise. He is worthy of our worship. He is worthy of our thanksgiving. Our scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 6 and verse number 9. Scripture says, After this manner, therefore, pray ye, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Friends, last week we ended the week on Friday by talking about prayer and how we always should be praying and we need to pray without ceasing. And And I thought as, as I was thinking about that broadcast over the weekend, I thought it'd be good to go back and take a look at, at some elements to prayer. And in Matthew chapter number 6, Jesus teaches his disciples a prayer that they could use to model their own prayer life. I don't think at any point that Jesus intended for us to to recite the Lord's Prayer each and every day and it turning into a meaningless vain repetition that he spoke against earlier in the chapter chapter six. Instead I believe he was giving us a model that that's showing us elements that we need to include in our prayer that we need to make sure is found in our prayers. And the first one here in verse number nine is where we're showing adoration or our love for God. When he starts off his prayer saying, Our Father which art in heaven, that would have been different than how Old Testament people would have prayed because they looked at God as 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 the God of the universe. They didn't look at God as as someone they were having a personal relationship with. But that's what we have through Jesus Christ. And therefore, we can refer to God as our Father because of the sacrifice of Jesus. So our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Hallowed means it's it's a sense of holy awe. It's a sense of reverence that's put on his name. It's adoring him for who he is. It's putting him in the first place of our life. It's us recognizing who he is and, and holding him in high regard and high esteem. Because we need to make sure above anything else that we put God first each and every day of our life. If we fail to do that, we're going to be robbing ourselves of blessings from God, and we're going to be robbing our relationship with God, and we're going to be robbing God the glory and the and the praise that He deserves. So as you start out your prayer, make sure you start out each day by showing adoration to God, by, by telling God how much you love Him, by putting Him in that proper place in your life. Does God hold that number one spot in your life? Think about that as you go through this day. And remember, get into God's Word and allow God's Word to get into you. Then share that Word with someone today. Have a blessed day.